We woke up with a little bit of a cool breeze in Louisiana today, so we're gonna do chicken and dumplings. I am cooking two onions down in this butter. I have three little breast fillets, eight chicken thighs that I baked in the oven with just this chupacabra chop house blend. I've been saved the juice from when I baked it. When I baked the chicken breast fillets, I did season with a little bit of this chupacabra cluckalicious um, because it <laughs> because this is made for chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of garlic, two or three minutes. If you wanna chop your own garlic, you go for it. I'm gonna pour a whole container of chicken broth in here. The family size, great value one. Inevitably, somebody's gonna come in the comments and tell me I should boil the chicken. Well, I didn't feel like it. This is what we're doing. Also gonna add in about six cups of water. Two cans of cream of chicken soup. Get out of there. It is gonna help you to have a whisk to do this part. Oh shit. It's gonna give it a few minutes to get to a boil. Throw in all of this cooked chicken and all of the juice from the chicken. Baked the chicken is really delicious, so. I'm gonna add about three cups more water. We're gonna season this with the Chop House uh, blend from two Gringos Chupacabra. Let me open up the big side. I guesstimate about two tablespoons. I got two cans of biscuits, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. So I have these Mary B's biscuits, uh, Mary B's dumplings that I had frozen. I think I'm gonna put all those in here. It's just like a half of a quart bag. These are the um, Pillsbury Grand Southern Home Styles. So you're gonna take each biscuit and just pull it apart like that. One at a time, it's gonna take me a minute. And that's all the biscuits and you just gotta stir it and get them all covered in gravy. And we're just gonna let that cook simmer for about 30 minutes or so. And I'm just gonna every now and then make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. You see how thick that is after it simmered for a while and all the dumplings started sinking. And that's when you know it's done. So you just cut one in half and it's kind of bready in the middle. It's all the way cooked, it's not raw dough. I gotta fix a pot for my parents. So look at my new big ladle from McWare. I'm so thrilled about this ladle. My Rouse's little French bread rolls I made out of their dough over here. It's so fresh and soft, y'all. And that is supper. Headed to my mama's house with this pot, so I'll see y'all later.